Before we get into today's video, I do want to let you guys know that this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Please remember to be kind to everybody everywhere in your everyday life, in your home, in the grocery store, and especially in the comment section down below. Please do not show hate to anybody anywhere. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Christina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance and hearing some things that I have to say. And if you are a returning subscriber, y'all already know, y'all are my babies. So good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day. I hope you all are having a wonderful week so far. And we're back to talk about another BK, mm, Brian Koberger situation. So we've got some little updates for you guys that we need to talk about. But before I get into it, do y'all know, for those of you guys that are uh, following the Alec Murdoch trial, Murdoch, Murdoch, Murdoch. I mean, I swear people say it online so many different ways. I don't even know what it is. Me and my husband had a whole debate the other night for the fact that he is convinced his name is Alex because it's spelt Alex. Alex Murdo. It's a <laughs> what? Alex Murdo. You said Murdo. No, I didn't. But I heard him say himself in the trial, his name is Alec. So you guys, I do the best that I can over here, okay? Anyways, so the jury is supposedly going to be going out there today on March 1st to the spot where his wife and son lost their lives. And the, this does not happen very often where the jury actually leaves the courtroom and goes to the crime scene. And I really hope there's gonna be cameras that will go there. They did the same thing in the OJ Simpson trial. And the defense, Alex defense, is the one that wanted this, which is telling me that they believe that once the jury sees the crime scene and how everything is set up, that it's gonna prove that Alec didn't do it. What do you guys think? If enough good stuff comes out, I may put out another video on it. I have been watching the trial, especially when Alec testified, y'all. If y'all didn't watch it, Listen, it's so much. There's so much information. There's so many moving parts. It's so convoluted. It's hard to keep up with if you haven't already. Anyways, let's move on to the Brian Koberger situation. So it has since come out and like information just keeps leaking and leaking and coming out and leaking that allegedly Brian Koberger had pictures of one of the girls from the Idaho house on his phone. Now, we still don't know what kind of pictures. I did see uh, somebody from News Nation said that they went to the house on Kings Road and that when they went there, they realized that no matter where you were in that house, you could be seen basically through a window one way, some way, somehow, like if you're in a bedroom or you're, she said that they were basically like the girls or the students in that house could have been considered like sitting ducks because it was just so easy to see in there. And if you looked at the TikToks that Kaylee posted, just even Kaylee, you can see in the background that her bedroom was on a balcony. Like you would be able to, if you were like really like stalking or paying attention to, to these girls from their social media, you could figure out where they were just from watching their social media. So anyways, Brian Koberger allegedly has photos of one of the girls on his phone. It's not been released yet if they were photos that he took or if he took them from their social medias. And now a lot of people are believing that it could be Maddie. Remember in the beginning, we thought that it was probably Kaylee because Kaylee's the one who had told a friend that she had somebody that was following her and, you know, kind of she felt uncomfortable, but now people are wondering if it's Maddie. And I'm, I'm starting to wonder if it's Maddie too, seeing that Maddie is the one that worked at the Mad Greek. The Mad Greek is the restaurant that sold uh, vegan options and was known to so sell vegan options in such a small town. And we all know that Brian Koberger um, claimed to be like a hardcore vegan. So I don't know, what kind of photos were they? Something else that I wanted to talk about was the fact that they have since boarded up the King's Road house. Like it is completely boarded up, which I think is really good, but the owners of this home donated the house 
to the college and they have decided to demolish it, which I do think is a great idea eventually. But from what I'm understanding is they're thinking about demolishing it like pretty soon. I'm not an attorney, so I don't, I don't know the ins and outs, but the way it seems as of now is both sides, the defense and the prosecution have, have may have agreed on allowing the house to be demolished, which means that maybe they're not going to want to bring the jury to the house to do a walkthrough, like what is happening in the Alec Murdoff trial as well as what happened in the O.J. Simpson trial. But I don't know, you guys, it just seems like that they should not demolish the house until the person that did this crime has been sentenced and held accountable. Then again, I don't know, it seems, I, I don't, I just, I definitely don't see them ever renting that house out again. Could you imagine, could you just imagine going to rent that house or buy that house. Like, I don't know. Some of y'all is into that spooky, ooky type of stuff and y'all probably be all about it. But not me, sister. I could never, never, ever, 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 ever sleep in that house. No, 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 not me. What about y'all? And the last part that I wanted to talk about today is as of yesterday, more search warrant documents have been released. And this list right here of things that they took when they searched uh, Brian Koberger and his parents' home has come out. Now, the way that I'm understanding this right now is that this is not everything that they took, okay? This is just what they took. And I even heard one FBI agent say that she believed that these are the things that were on Brian himself or around him in a close area. These are not all of the things that they took from his house. So let's go over it. They took one silver flashlight, Four medical style gloves. There's even speculation that they were in his pocket. So I don't know. We all know that the investigators were watching him at his parents' house for about three days before they actually went into his home to arrest him and search the house. And when they did, they seen him in the middle of the night, y'all, taking trash out with gloves on and all black, going to the neighbor's trash cans and disposing of trash in the neighbor's trash cans. And mind you, these houses are spread out too. It ain't like your next door neighbor's trash is right next to yours. They're on one to two acre lots. So he had to walk around in order to dispose of this trash in other people's trash cans with his surgical gloves on in the middle of the night, dressed in all black. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but seems a little bit sketch. He's probably gonna come out later and say he has some sort of like severe or OCD or something and that is why he does these things because nothing else is going to make any sense but we'll see it's a mighty big quinky dink to be wearing all black to be disposing of you know whatever but but we'll see so the next thing was a white Arizona large t-shirt a champion large black sweatshirt a pair of black and white size 13 Nike shoes a pair of Under Armour socks Under Armour black large shorts under Armour black boxers, large, and one buckle swab, which to me is a buckle swab, you know, like a DNA swab. Now I wonder who they got that from. Did they get that from Brian? Did they get that from somebody else in the house? Did he willingly give up his DNA there? Now, Brian very well may have been wearing all of these items, you know, like a t-shirt and boxers and shorts with a sweatshirt on top, with his socks, with his shoes, and a flashlight in one pocket and four gloves in the other pocket and a buckle swab. He, th this could have all just came right off of his body, but I don't know. We'll see. I wonder what else they took. Alleged like statements from Brian has been released that he is excited to be exonerated. And I'm excited to see if he's think he, if he's really thinks he's going to be exonerated. I mean, honey, Ted Bundy thought he was going to get off too. He was having the time of his life in that trial. Y'all remember he sat there and enjoyed watching his surviving victims testify. You guys remember that? Ted Bundy, he defended himself, obviously didn't do a really good job because he ended up being executed in the end and whatever. And he ended up admitting to everything after he was found guilty and people quit talking about him and he needed to stir up, you know, people talking about him again, which I am glad that he told about the things that happened because we were able to learn from that. Nevertheless, he's sitting there and in, he sat in there and enjoyed listening to his victims describe what he had done to them. So who really knows? I, all I know is that obviously Brian Koberger is still innocent until proven guilty. If he's not the guy, 
they need to get this over with and they need to find the person. But as of right now, the, the circumstantial evidence is overwhelming. It is a lot. I mean, there, I mean, you got to be the most unluckiest person in the world to have your phone ping in the area near these people's homes over and over and over again, and then just happen to turn off and disappear for the two hours, that two hour window when the situation happened and your DNA be found on the literal knife, knife sheath, one speck of DNA. Okay. Not 25 people specks of DNA and yours was on it but no DNA at all except for that one tiny little speck, which could have literally been a skin cell that was found on the button. Yeah, um, I'll know. Seems a little... And you've got pictures of the girl on your phone. Mm, seems a bit weird. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Other than that, I will see y'all on Friday. Thank y'all so much for being here, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.